A note on Desire Under the Elms by Eugene O'Neill. Uh, every Monday, last night as well, uh, Romanian uh, National Theatre for Television, as they call it, that National de Television, offers a play. And the viewer is <laughs> generally not that satisfied, not this viewer. Uh, because sometimes there's overacting, there are some, um, some artists who think too well of themselves, in, in, in my view. And so it's not such a excellent, uh, such an excellent entertainment as it could be. Uh, nevertheless, last night it was uh, it was all right. Uh, we had Eugene O'Neill, so that's one thing. Uh, good, uh, and I, in fact, think that the play is worthwhile and it deserves a better angle, acting, cast than there was. Even in there, I would make changes. If I could, Valentin Teodosi is very good, generally, and last night too, but he has a role of a few minutes. He's a supporting actor in this play, and he was some 20 years younger or more. And I wish he played uh, the father, Ephraim. Uh, in fact, we have this family which is somewhat dysfunctional. We have Peter Cabot, Valentin Teodosiu, Simeon, uh, Eben. Eben is played by Florin Piercic Jr. Not, uh, not bad, but not thrilling either. And we also have Abby, a much younger woman who is marrying Ephraim. Uh, Abby is played by Adriana Trandafir. I liked her in some roles last night. I wasn't, again, enthusiastic. Uh, so there is conflict within. We start, in fact, with uh, with a tension between the two half brothers, uh, Peter Simeon on one side and Eben. Uh, Eben is very unhappy with their father. In fact, he hates him, uh, he's con he considers the father responsible for the death of his mother. Uh, well, he didn't kill him, he didn't kill uh, her, the half-brothers seem to argue, but she was overworked and she died. Uh, anyway, the, the, the issue of the two uh, is uh, is solved soon because they plan on going to California for the gold rush to find gold, gold. And um, Eben is trying to convince them to uh, sell their share in the farm. And finally, they did. They get three hundred dollars each from Eben, and they move on to California. Not before mocking their father and his new wife, who is also. Um, a, a, a piece of <laughs> a piece of work uh, she wants the farm for herself she's impressed with the farm when she arrives there and in the first place she looks at Eben uh, as threatening this uh, this uh, wish for inheritance inheritance that she has and she goes as far as to claim to her new husband new and old husband, I mean, new, uh, newly married, but old because he is old, um, Ephraim, he, she says, look, he, he tried to force himself on me. What's to that effect? Not exactly this, uh, but what's to that effect? And uh, the father is upset, jealous, and decides to throw him out of the farm. On second thought, <laughs> Abby, because maybe because uh, Eben is this young man and she has to stay with the old one if this this one, the younger one is is going. Uh, perhaps she's already attracted uh, 
um, falling in love with him, who knows? Love is such a complicated sort of emotion, feeling. And she says, "Look, we we he he has to, he has to work on the farm, and so Eben stays. Alas, um, the relationship gets intimate, and uh, while Ephraim hopes for a son, it is his son." that may be having his a son and i was going to say his son indeed uh, an infant whom Ephraim thinks is his son but is actually his grandson there's a complicated relationship which seems incestuous to a degree uh, the mother has sex with her son uh, true it's a stepson so it's not that uh, perverted, but it is, it isn't uh, virtuous either. So an interesting, an interesting play, definitely. I just think the, the cast, the production, uh, the angle of what here could have been better with a different arrangement. Anyway. <laughs>